to show you how to personalize your Twitter background. Yes, let's not go with the regular, standard, boring background, okay? Um, but why personal branding? Yes, it helps your followers understand your brand personality, exactly what you do and why they should follow you. And of course, creativity. Showcase some of your artistic talents and skills. Um, what you see here is my Twitter background. And of course, on the right hand side, I have the, you know, your bio and, and the link to your website. But what if you are on multiple social networking or social media platforms? Hey, let people know so they can connect with you on, uh, on a totally different level. For example, on my left hand side column, I have my picture, I have my name, I have my titles, of course my website address, but hey, I'm letting people know that you can talk to me live on Blog Talk Radio on Thursdays at, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hey, you want to become a fan of Corporate Cosmo or friend me on Facebook? Here are the address where you can connect with me. And of course, to showcase your, your company's logo or your website logo, whatever it is, give people an idea of connect with you and engage with you on, not just on Twitter, but just everywhere else that you're at. Okay, so you ready? Cool. So, what I use is Adobe Photoshop. And the reason why I use this program is because I am a graphic designer, so I um, prefer I use this as my photo editing program. And what you see here is basically my whole Twitter background. Now, I didn't use the whole background because I prefer the left-hand um, column. But if you go to image, and you could do this the same way any other photo Im imaging program. What you want to be concerned about is the pixels. Now, the width and the height of the Twitter background pixel should not exceed the 1600 by 1200 pixel. Matter of fact, if you have it exactly at those pixel size, then it will fit perfectly in the background. I wouldn't go any smaller, I wouldn't go any larger. Okay? Now, if you notice, what if you had just one the left hand column section? Of course, I have one just like that. Um, once again, if you go to image and image size, my width pixel is 235. Now, you do not want to exceed that. Um, you can range from either 200 or to 235. The height doesn't make a difference. You can make it as long as you want. I wouldn't suggest anything too long. Right now, I have it at 235 by 700 pixels, and that fits perfect in the, um, the Twitter background. And of course, with the pixels, give you the perfect resolution. For, um, for the Twitter background to read on web. Okay, so I already have my background, so I'm ready to place this in my, uh, my Twitter account. So all you have to do is you go to settings, go to design, and I'm gonna scroll down. Of course, you can select any theme here, but no, we don't want to do that. We want to customize it. We make it look nice and hot. So on the bottom, we have an option to change the background image. So I'm going to click on that. And this, of course, click on browse. This is where you want to pull your your Twitter background image. Of course, mine is Twitter background. Hit cancel. And of course, I have my there, <laughs> so I'm not going to change it. But once it shows up, you click on Save Changes, and it says your profile customization has been saved. Go back to Profile, and of course, your background will show up. If you need to tweak it a little bit, that's fine. You may have to go back into the, your photo editing program and move things around to make it look... Um, um, a little bit better to avoid anything that's cutting off. But if you stick with those dimensions, which is 1600 by 1200 pixels, then it should be perfect. Okay? Well, that is it. If you need any more social media tips, please um, visit.